welcome to easy btech channel myself ravi kumar please subscribe our channel and share to your friends in this video i will discuss about the maximum power transfer theorem first of all what is the statement of maximum power transfer theorem it can be states that the maximum power can be delivered to the load when load resistance is equal to the source resistance that is you must simplify the given equation at the given load terminals you must find out the thevenin's equivalent circuit that is the equivalent circuit is like that here exactly the formation of thevenin's equivalent circuit that is vs is the source voltage and rs is the source resistance and rl is the load resistance then when the maximum power can be delivered to the load the condition is that is the source resistance is equal to load resistance that is here the combination of vs and rs forms thevenin's circuit in the given circuit at the load resistance you must find out vth as well as rth for example this source voltage is thevenin's voltage and this source resistance is thevenin's resistance then rs also you can represent that is r thevenin's then both are equal here r thevenin's equal to load resistance this is the condition at this condition the maximum power can be transferred from source to load side then the maximum power theorem can be verified after satisfying this condition how to find out the maximum power therefore the formula for maximum power delivered to the the formula for maximum power that is denoted by p maximum hence the formula is v square by 4 into r this formula is very very most important in case of gate examinations also or we are finding v thevenin's that is vth square 4 into rth or rl this is the formula to find out maximum power which is going to the load side in case of ac circuits then the condition is that is the value of load impedance in case of ac circuits we can find out the the values in terms of impedances hence the load impedance is equal to the complex conjugate of source impedance that is zl equal to zs star that is if zs equal to that is if after finding the value zs equal to the complex number r plus jx then what is the value of zl the complex conjugate that is r minus jx that is z equal to zs star okay, this is the condition in case of ac circuits then after finding the maximum power for example if we can draw the graph between load resistance as well as power loss in the load then the graph is gradually increases and after going to maximum value maximum value it will be gradually decreases then you will get the maximum value the condition is rs equal to rl then at this condition the power is maximum that is p max this is the maximum power transfer theorem we can verify the maximum transfer theorem by considering the example circuit here this is the example here you can apply the maximum power transfer theorem across the load resistance rl after finding rl value hence you can find out the value of maximum power which is delivered to the load resistance then what is the first condition that is you can find out 
the Thevenin's circuit here. The main first condition is step one. The calculation of maximum power depends on the calculation of Thevenin's theorem. That is, the first step is to find Thevenin's voltage. That is, V Thevenin. How to find Thevenin's voltage? Here we are finding across RL. Then we can simply delete the low distance RL at deleted element. You can find out the open circuit voltage that is VTH across RL. Then after deleting the RL value, hence what is the changes in the circuit? You can find out VTH across 5 ohms. For the purpose, before going to find out voltage across 5 ohms, then you must find out what is the current passing through 5 ohms. Hence, there are two loops in the given circuit after deleting RL, then you can consider the loop currents are I1 and I2. Then find out I1 and I2, then after that find out Thevenin's voltage. How to find I1 and I2? Apply mesh analysis. That means apply KVL to loop 1, that is first loop. Okay. In the first loop, I1 is passing through 6 and 8 ohms. Then 6 plus 8 into I1 and also 8 ohms belong to the second loop also. That is 8 is the mutual element. Then I1 and I2 currents are passing through 8 in reverse direction. That is why the drop is with respect to I2 current, the drop is that is 8 into I2 equal to the voltage source is coming going current is minus 2 plus that is why positive value that is 6. Then arrange the terms here 8 plus 6 14 I1 minus 8 I2 equal to 6. This is the first equation. After that same apply KVL to the second loop. Apply KVL to loop 2. Then I2 current is passing through 8, 5 and 12. That is 8 plus 5 plus 12 into I2. The drop across all resistance. Minus 8 ohms is the mutual element. Hence both currents are passing in reverse direction. Then the drop with respect to current I1 is minus 8 I1. In this loop, there is no voltage source value. That, that's why equal to 0. Hence, rearrange the val values here. Minus 8 into I1 plus 13 plus 12. 25 into I2 equal to 0. This is taken as equation 2. Then after that, you can find out by solving equation 1 and 2, hence the value of current I1 is 0.524 amperes and then the value of current I2 is 0.168 amperes. Okay. After finding loop currents, what is our aim here to find out Thevenin's voltage across 5. Then what is the current passing through 5 ohms I2? Therefore, hence our required value V Thevenin's. Thevenin's voltage VTH equal to the voltage drop across 5. That is V equal to IR. Then 5 into I2 value is 0 0.6, 0 0.168. Hence V Thevenin's value is 0 0.84 volts. Okay, this is the value of Thevenin's voltage. Then after finding Thevenin's voltage, what is the second step? That is step 2. After finding Thevenin's voltage, you have to find out Thevenin's resistance that is RTH. Where you can find out RTH? In the given circuit, 
we have to find out the response across RL here. That's why you can simply open circuit RL. At RL, you can find out open circuit resistance here. That is the RTH across 5 ohms. Hence, in the calculations, there is no deleted of these two nodes, the nodes across 5. You must keep the nodes until the final calculations. Therefore, and also, when we are calculating equal distance value, all sources are eliminated. In the given circuit, there is a voltage source is there. You can simply eliminate the voltage source by short circuited. Here, short circuit. Then, simply observe here, how to find out RTH in the given circuit here, that is 6 ohms in parallel with 8 ohms, 6 and 8, both are joined across same nodes, that is this node and this node, across these two nodes, 6 and 8, both are joined. After simplifying the parallel combination, that must be series with 12 ohms. After calculating this combination, the 12, the combination value must be in parallel with 5. Then you can simplify the equation is R1, R2 by R1 plus R2 plus 12. This combination is in parallel with 5. Then you can simplify the equation. You will get the RTH value is 3.5. 77 ohms. This is the value of Thevenin's theorem, Thevenin's resistance. Then, after finding Thevenin's resistance value, then what is the next step? You must draw the Thevenin's circuit, that is Thevenin's equivalent circuit. To draw Thevenin's circuit. How to draw Thevenin's circuit? That is voltage source in series with resistance. Then that circuit can be connected in series with deleted element. The deleted R element you must replace across the series circuit. Then that voltage source value is Thevenin's voltage. That series resistance value is Thevenin's resistance. Here, what is VTH value or finding value? That is 0.84 volts. RTH value is 3.77 ohms. Then here, after finding Thevenin's equivalent circuit, then here at this point, you must apply the statement of maximum power transfer theorem. What is the statement of maximum power transfer theorem? The maximum power can be delivered to the load when the condition is Rs equal to RL. Therefore, the load resistance RL equal to RTH, that is RL equal to Rs. Here, the value is RTH. That's why maximum power can be delivered at RL equal to RTH. We know the RTH value, hence RL value is nothing but 3.77 volts. After finding RL value, then you can find out maximum power delivered to the load resistance that is denoted by P max, maximum power delivered to the load. What is the formula here? That is V square by 4 into R. What is the value of V Thevenin's here? 0.84 whole square by 4 into 3.77. After calculation this value, you will get the maximum power is 0.046 watts. In this way, you can find out the maximum power value as well as the unknown load resistance by applying maximum power transfer theorem. When 
you are applying maximum power in the problem rl value is not given at first then we can apply thevenin's theorem to find vth rth then draw the equivalent circuit after that after drawing thevenin's equivalent circuit you must apply maximum power transfer theorem statement that is rl equal to rs then at that point you can find out rl after finding rl value then you can find out the maximum power delivered to the load by using the formula v square by 4 into r please subscribe our channel and share to your friends